So how do we install ProtonVPN, a free Swiss-based VPN for any Linux machine? Hey, I'm Will for CyberGraded, and today we're going to be looking at exactly how we do that. Now, I'm not going to explain what a VPN is today. Chances are, if you've clicked on this video, you probably already know what a VPN is and why it's crucial that you have one. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is launch your machine. I'm using a Ubuntu machine here. Of course, you could be using a native Linux install. You could have it installed on a laptop or something like that, which is a pretty cool project if you want to do. Uh, and chances are, if you clicked on this video, you are going to be using a Debian-based version of Linux. Of course, these steps do work for Fedora-based Linux distributions, but they might differ slightly. And again, chances are that you are probably using a Debian-based distro like Ubuntu, like Para OS, like Mint, or like Kali if you've clicked onto this video. So make sure your machine is up and running and it's got a network connection to the outside internet so you can download the required packages. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna launch it. You're gonna to navigate to the internal web browser and you're gonna to come to protonvpn.com forward slash pricing. Now ProtonVPN is the VPN that we're gonna be installing today. There was a bit in the news recently about ProtonVPN, um, but to be honest, most commercial VPNs these days have some sort of flaw in them. Unless you're setting up your own VPN server, you can't really ensure that they're not going to be passing over details to whoever wants them. I'd like to think that they're not because it's based in Switzerland. Obviously, Switzerland has its own jurisdiction and they are big on security. However, like most commercial VPNs, there has been a bit of heat around them recently. Anyway, so you're going to want to click get free. Of course, you can pay for a basic plus or visionary membership if you try out the free version and you really like it. But for today's purpose, we're just going to be doing a free one. It's then going to take you to a sign up page. Sign up page is pretty basic. Username, password, create account. It's then going to send you a verification email. You're going to click verify and then you'll have an account. You all know how to make an account somewhere. Once you've got an account and you're signed in, you can navigate over to protonvpn forward slash support forward slash Linux VPN tool. I'll link both of these web pages in the description so you can just click through to them. You then, once you're here, you can see that we're going to be doing Debian based distros, which is right at the top here. And it does actually have instructions for Fedora based distros, um, Manjaro, never used Manjaro. But yeah pretty cool. So you're going to need to right click this and copy link location. You can then minimize your web browser and open up a new terminal. I've got all my commands in this text file here because I said in my last video as well that the way my microphone is set up, it kind of blocks access to my keyboard. So it's just easier for me to copy and paste the commands over. And it also means that I can just put all these in the description and you don't have to watch me painfully type and make typos. So as I said, we're going to open a new terminal. We then need to type wget. I'll take my handy list of commands and I will take the URL. Of course, you already have this on your clipboard because you just copy and pasted it from the website. You can then hit enter. Now, as you can see, it's just downloaded it again for me. I do already have it because I did sort of a run through of it this morning just to make sure I could get it right. You are then going to need to take that Debian file and install it to our VM. So what we can do is sudo dpkg with the I flag and install the Proton Debian package. It's going to ask you for your password if you didn't sudo. There you go, preparing to unpack it. And finally, we're gonna to need to install it. So just before we do the install, as per with most Linux packages, just gonna do a quick update to make sure we've got the latest local repositories. And this usually takes a minute or so. We can then sudo apt install Proton VPN to actually install it. And it's gonna say not installed, because I have already installed it this morning, but for you, it will install it. It may prompt you to press yes. Of course, you just type yes at that point and hit enter. And then that's it. You can obviously, you can control ProtonVPN from the 
command line. But chances are, again, if you're using an Ubuntu, if this is your first time with a virtual machine, if you're just getting used to Linux, it is quite nice because it comes with a GUI. So you can click show all applications. We can type in Proton. And if we just give it a minute to work its magic, and there we go, it's all started up. Now I'm gonna blur out my IP address, um, but you can see that the last two octets are 4769. And we have several free locations, so we can connect to a Japan server, a Netherlands server, and a United States server. And of course, it supports the Tor network as well, which is pretty cool. So just to kind of show you, if we go to Firefox and type in what is my IP address, we can see here that it ends in 4769 and I'm based in Scotland. If we come back and connect to the United States, we can see that my IP address has changed to 195.181.163.32. And we come back to here, we hit refresh, and it's given us the exact same IP address. That's probably because it's cached it. So we'll come back. <laughs> we'll click on this again. And there you go, it's updated. So I now live in Florida, which I have no desire to visit, but that's my local server now, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that's it. It's really, 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 really easy. Um, obviously it's five times as easy to st install if you're on Windows, but it is one of those things where if you're not used to Linux and you're not used to how to install packages, this is a really basic, nice, easy package to install and update the repositories as well. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Uh, if it did help you, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like me to cover next. Hit the like button and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Okay, thanks. Have a good one.